Hello and welcome to iTrust's uh, May 12th issue of MoneyCast. This week we're going to be talking about what the IPL has taught me about investing. Yes, of course, it's IPL season and how can personal finance be so far behind? So, why don't we get started with the top 10 things that we've learned about investing from the IPL and the T20 format of cricket. What's the first thing? Well, you've got to start early. Uh, just like teams uh, who don't score runs early on in the innings end up paying for it towards the second half of the innings, similarly in investing you've got to start early when you're young. Number two, risk and reward. Uh, just like in the IPL, in the T20 format of the game, you know, if you take a lot of risk, you'll probably be able to earn a very high amount of rewards as well by scoring lots of sixes and boundaries and so on. Similarly in investing, the higher risk you take, the higher returns you get. But obviously, it comes with the pitfalls of uh, dying with that risk as well. Not every ball can be hit to the boundary. Sometimes singles are also very important for us. So just keep that in mind. Number three, be ready for the unexpected. Just like uh, you know, in South Africa, in the second season of the IPL, the rains are disrupting matches. Duckworth Lewis method is coming into play, and certain teams end up with a disadvantaged uh, position. Similarly, in life, we've got to be prepared for a rainy day and have enough runs on the board so that whatever unexpected happens, uh, we can still cope with that. Number four, strategic break. Uh, you know, teams are taking a strategic break at the end of 10 overs to review how they've performed in the last 10 overs and how they ought to be performing in the coming 10 overs. Similarly, when it comes to our personal finance and investing, we've got to take a review of our situation very, very regularly to see how well we've done in the past and how best should we be preparing for the challenges that lie ahead of us. Number five, balance. Just like teams need to be well balanced with a, a good mixture of good batsmen, good fielders, good bowlers, similarly our own investment portfolio needs to be well balanced with a whole variety of different investments and asset classes. We can't be overexposed to any one particular type of instrument or investment. Uh, this is why diversification is also very important and the IPL team selection is a classic case of teaching us about diversification. Number six, one bad over. Just like one bad over in the T20 format can really mess up a team's strategy or be the difference between victory and loss, similarly in life one might suffer from a one bad over because uh, one loses one's job or doesn't get the promotion that one wants or gets injured. We need to be prepared for this kind of a situation and uh, be adequately resourced to be able to make whatever we can of a difficult over that we might be placed into and that means having an emergency fund and having some safe and secure investments that can take care of us in the case uh, of an emergency arising. Number seven, consistency. Uh, you know, purple caps and orange caps are given to the best uh, batsmen and field uh, bowlers in uh, uh, the tournament. Uh, these are people who are players who have been performing the most consistently rather than somebody who's done really well in one match and done nothing for the next five matches. Similarly, in investing, I think consistency outweighs any kind of outperformance which is of a highly irregular nature and what you want is you want to be a consistent performer over a very, very long period of time. Number eight, coaching. Coaching definitely helps. Every team has their own coach, their fielding coach, their bowling coach, their batting coach. Uh, these are people who can give you an objective view on how well or badly you're doing and make certain small fixes on how to improve your performance and move towards your target. Similarly, in investing, I think a little bit of guidance and expertise and help from someone who's an expert can also help you in improving the performance uh, of your portfolio and making sure that you're not uh, making any careless mistakes. Number nine, distractions. You know what, uh, IPL uh, T20 format is a hugely entertaining format with lots of singing and dancing and so on, but ultimately teams win or lose depending upon the number of runs they have on the board and the number of wickets that they've been able to take. Similarly in investing, there'll always be distractions, there'll be flares of the month, things that distract you, lots of noise and so on. What's most important for you is what your batting average is over a very long period of time. So stay away from the distractions and focus on the things that are important, which are long-term investment returns. And finally, number 10, a winning attitude. We've seen time and time again in matches that you know, players uh, with a lesser amount of experience or lesser amount of talent, but even some world-class names have outperformed some of the superstars of the game. And that's because they've got a winning attitude and a very positive attitude and they're learning from their mistakes. Similarly, in investing, we believe that you know, it's important that all of us learn from our mistakes and keep a very positive attitude. And just like a player doesn't get disheartened after one bad performance, similarly, we need to continue to keep faith in our investments over the long run, not get disheartened because we've made one bad investment 
And as long as we are well prepared for the investing decisions that we've made, we will also win out in the long run. So enjoy the remaining uh, season of uh, IPL2. And here's wishing you that uh, you have a very, very big score at the end of your investment innings. Thank you.